Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. We are going to discuss gold in today's video and uh, here in front of us is uh, the uh, US data that was put out today and uh, the headlines is basically that the inflation got increased by 5.4% uh, and it was expected to be somewhere around 4.8% but it has jumped up to 5.4%. Now, if you look into the further analysis, uh, this is the fundamental side of the uh, the price of that of the prices of gold. And if you look into further, then most of this inflation that's being reported is actually coming out from the prices of used cars. And there are different fundamental reasons for that. I do believe, and I'm using. It's not that I'm. A, a huge fundamentalist uh, as a fundamental analyst I actually look on to the technical side of it personally and I looked at which uh, what side actually is uh, strengthening my argument on the on the technical side and this is the argument in front of me that's in strengthening my bearish side on on gold I am bearish on gold and uh, if you look what look, looking at the fundamentals of the price why the price is expecting to go down and then my point here right is in front of you is that although it looks like inflation has increased but as the Fed is saying that most of the inflation is actually transitory since we are moving from COVID protocols to regular economy uh, and the um, uh, the infrastructure that was built of course we did not have COVID in mind lots of factories are coming back into production uh, that chip uh, the in intelligent chips that we are we use using, the electronic chips that are used in the manufacturing of the cars as well. There's a huge bottleneck in the production there as well. So all of that is coming together, and it looks like if you're looking at the ten special specifically into the fundamental, it looks like that inflation is actually temporary. It is transitory. There is nothing that is actually for now causing into the. Uh, the prices of gold to skyrocket to $2,500 or $3,500. We do need to understand that we have already gone from about $1,300 to $2,000 uh, per ounce of gold. So now people are coming down and more and more money is being put out of the, of the gold. I'm not talking about retail traders. We have to keep in mind that although we we would like to think ourselves as a as a huge force uh, behind moving their prices, but we're talking about big, huge institutions. And if you look at the institutions, there seems very confident in in, in economy. There is, of course, the uh, economy is coming back, and uh, the uh, I myself work here in Canada, and we are seeing more and more job openings, and uh, it, it is coming kind of giving us some relaxation that okay, the market is opening back again. So this is the fundamental side of it. Don't worry, we are going to look at the price of, uh, of gold uh, using our technical analysis. So here in front of us, what has happened in the last few days is that uh, I was really, uh, I'm I myself really impatient for the prices to drop further down. And so far we have seen that it's not has happened. Nothing has happened. All it has happened is that prices have moved into side wave price action. One question that was and is really important question was put by one of the uh, viewers is that one of the viewers is that what price level would actually uh, negate my analysis and would ask me to think again uh, about the analysis about the bearish uh, wave count that I'm favoring now so <coughs> I've simply drawn a box on top of another box and which is right over here we can see that the prices has moved up and down from 1790 to 1818 18 area so if we can if prices can actually jump up the uh, about 100 percent of this whole price side price movement which would take the prices to 1845 so if prices can actually cross 1845 that would actually make me think that i'm terribly wrong in my analysis so if you are looking at a particular price level, if prices go behind, um, go beyond 1845 uh, before crashing, that would tell me that, okay, I need to look at something else. I need to, maybe there is strong component that I'm missing. So for now, I'm still bearish on gold. I'm still considering this as wave A of the flat correction, expanded flat correction, wave B of the expanded flat correction, and then wave C of the flat expanded flat correction. 
starting from top we are considering it as a wave one and this as wave two that does not mean that a simple price push downwards will give us an indication that um, the prices are going to be uh, completing five wave structure then we go down in uh, in regard to that in regard to the price target i have been talking that 1550 1560 is my price target and i'm still really positive that we are going to achieve that price target uh, looking at it that we have actually come off <coughs> the major support level and then we have also broken this support as well so the the trend defining line is this one and the the support that was broken is this one all of this is pointing toward the huge price movement <coughs> pardon me for for that so all of that is indicating toward the huge price movement downward and so far nothing has changed apart from prices being moved into the side waves and i'm expecting if you're worried about this i'm expected that we might see some drop in price today right over here and then another push right over here so there's a good possibility the, the possibility that we might see this behavior if you see it don't work you can if you want to use it go ahead and uh, at this point this I would consider this price and which is around 1813 1814 a very good joining point for the bearish price bearish trend so once again nothing has changed in my head nothing has changed in the analysis that I'm giving on the bearish wave count of of gold and silver let's have a look at, uh, at this price of silver as well so I believe that this gives us a very good uh, point we can delete this because it's not used of anymore so once again i'm really bearish on both gold and silver the in the target for silver for first time target is uh the next important target is 2180 so that's the important target for silver and then you'll decide what happens after that when prices reach there for gold i'm uh, positively bearish and the target of course is 1550 to 1560 for gold if you're worried about the side price movement and you want to get my input I am not absolutely not worried one thing I completely forgot to tell and because of this side price movement because of this side price movement I was initially expecting that you were going to see one a lot of side waves two three lots of side waves four and five and there was a possibility that we might have seen a deeper two but because of lots of accumulation or distribution has already occurring this is giving me an indication that I would not dare to jump in and out of the trend once the prices come out of this range. So my point here is that once prices come out of the range, I personally would not dare to judge the downward price movement. It's going to be very quick price movement right over here. So I would try to just uh, keep my stop loss, bring the stop loss closer once, of course, the prices move back and go below it. Simply I would do that, I'd bring the stop loss closer and I would let the trade run. Initially I was thinking that okay, there would be a chance probably uh, for for distribution, but all of that distribution is already happening. So, wish you good luck with your trading. See you guys in the next few days. Have a good one and bye-bye.